Okay, so now it's uh, day 17 and 18. I did them combined because uh, I didn't get anything uploaded yesterday due to going to a concert. So uh, yesterday uh, I was at work and I was working through my lunch break when I got news that uh, one of my biggest musical idols from 12 years old, 12, 13 years old, um, I died. So uh, Chris Cornell is not with us anymore. So I've basically just been listening to a lot and lot of Chris Cornell's music, Soundgarden's music, Temple of the Dog as well. Um, so I was really kind of, yeah, um, devastated when I heard the news. But, you know, the the music's there. His legacy is going to live through the music. So nah, that's a, a good thing. But I'll, I'll do a proper, a proper blog post about that later on my website. Um, I'll, I'll write something and, and post it. So, uh, anyway, just thinking about, like, you know, the, you know, my childhood and all the years, you know, listening to Soundgarden and, and just memories and things started coming up from, from that, those different periods of time. And, uh, yeah, I kind of got in, in a little inspiration from it as well because, you know, when I started playing guitar, I think I was about 13 years old. Yeah, but yeah, just after I was 12, 13 years old, around, around that sort of age. And um, I was kind of really big into Nirvana, were my favorite band, uh, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, um, pretty much most of the grunge scene um, at, during that period in the early 90s. Um, and uh, yeah, so I was listening to a lot of Chris Cornell's music and, you know, it brought up some memories of, you know, why I started playing guitar and and give me kind of inspiration and in things, um, you know, to, to, to write music and, and you know, that's the whole reason why I wanted to play guitar because I wanted to, to write songs. Um, so today, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, uh, I've had a sick day from work. Um, um, because I wasn't feeling well. I actually left the concert last night uh, halfway through because uh, I just really was not feeling well. I had to get home. Um, so, uh, um, you know, I'm feeling a little bit better now, so I just started messing around. Um, uh, one of my favorite tunings that Soundgarden used uh, was a Dad Gad tuning, so I have tuned my guitar to Dad Gad. Uh, I've just been uh, messing around with some chords and things in that guide um, today. All that kind of stuff. Um, so I've been messing around with that. Uh, I've got some inspiration to write a song so I, I, I've basically written in uh, a couple of riffs and uh, I'm just messing around and arranging parts and you know um, writing more parts as we go along um, so that's what I've been doing today um, yesterday the concert uh, Hans Zimmer uh, like I said my, my head wasn't in, in the right place when I went to the concert I felt ill as well and uh, you know the, the music was absolutely amazing but the setting was so it was just the wrong place to, to have that kind of concert. Um, it was in a massive arena, and every five seconds there was somebody in the rows in front of me. It felt like somebody was shining a bright torch in my eyes because everybody was on their mobile phones doing this the whole time, you know. And the thing is, that I kind of thought to myself, you know, I've paid, you know, just shy of a hundred euros for the ticket. Then I've got to pay another 100 euros to get myself to Stockholm, back from Stockholm, all the buses and trains and things, you know, and uh, if I, ha I had a beer, that that also adds on to the cost. So all in all, for the whole experience, I paid 2,000, about 2,000 crowns, which is about 200 euros, yeah? And instead of being able to get into the music and, 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 and you know, experience the music, you know, every five seconds uh, I was being uh, destroyed you know, disturbed by somebody with a bloody mobile phone or, or moving around talking or banging on the seats or whatever. And it just made me think, it's like, 
why the hell would you have this type of concert in an arena? And and why the hell are these people coming to the concert if all they're gonna do is sit there and watch it through their mobile phones? Um, so anyway, because I was just in a, a pretty you know uh, low mood anyway, and I was feeling sick, uh, I just and all these people, I was just like, okay, I, I can't take this. I, I'm just gonna get out of here. So I left halfway through the concert. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a real shame because there were some moments in the concert where you know I, I, I had goosebumps. I was really getting into music, and then someone's mobile phone torching my eyes. It's just like, come on, man. You know, if you, in fact, somebody should just invent like concert mode on a mobile phone where where you cannot use the camera or 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 dim the lights or something. I mean, it's just so irritating. Uh, I mean, I've been to lots of rock gigs and, and jazz gigs as well where people are standing and, you know, they're taller than you, but they're standing in front of you looking through the concert in their mobile phone. The whole reason why you pay to have a concert ticket to see an artist live is to see them live and to experience the music live, not sit there and watch it through your mobile phone. Goodbye.